Hey guys, I'm John, this is Ray, and this is JJ. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about why we chose van life and what we plan to do in the future. So I guess we decided to become van lifers because we wanted to be free. And what we mean by that is we're expected by society to have a job, to pay rent, and a lot of that is taking up your time so you can't really do much that you really want to otherwise. And for us, van life is a solution to that. We don't have to have, a, let's say, full-time job just to pay the rent because there is no rent with, if you live in a van. And that also enables us to travel and experience new things and see new places. So for us, it was kind of a no brainer to do van life. Basically our plan is to hopefully go to all the national parks in the US. Um, and then we want to follow the sun as much as possible so we're going to probably just start out driving down south because we're in the pacific northwest it's pretty cold up here right now it's going to get colder um so yeah just drive down south and then um yeah we'll see where it goes from there but yeah just try to go around the whole u.s every state and then eventually we're hoping to go up to canada alaska and then hopefully all the way down to Mexico, um, South America, as far as we can go, pretty much. So we decided to build our own van instead of getting one that's already made because we didn't like any of the layouts that were available and also we were trying to uh, power big uh, consumption items like our AC and microwave and water heater and not have to be hooked up all the time. So once we made the decision to become van lifers, we had to choose what kind of van we wanted to buy. Um, so we were basically looking at three different kinds of vans. There's the Sprinters, the Transits, and then the Ram Pro Master. Um, but first we were looking into Sprinters, because that's a really common one. And the main thing with that is that it just costs a lot, and um, we couldn't really afford that at, at the time. And we didn't want to buy a used van because we felt like if we were going to spend the money and invest in it we might as well just get a brand new one so that we know it's going to be reliable and not have a lot of problems right off the bat. Um, so the Sprinter was out and then it was between the Transit and the Ram Pro Master and we decided the Transit wasn't a good fit because it was pretty much uh, like, like the Sprinter, the shape of it and another reason is we wanted something to be uh, front wheel drive to have more control and the Ram Pro Master just was lowered to the ground so we didn't have to have such a big step getting in. Yeah, so we um, looked around at some different Ram Pro Masters that are around us which was kind of like a difficult thing to find um, and we finally were able to pick one and then we purchased it last November, so November of 2017, um, and then we started our plans with how we were going to um, do the van build and what kind of things we wanted in our van. Yeah, the van build um, has been interesting since we're not doing it ourselves, we're hiring people to do it for us, and at the beginning we had a friend of mine start the build, but then situation got uh, got to a point where he couldn't work at it anymore so then we had now we have a family friend who's currently working on it and he's a general contractor so we hope that we get a solid build done out of it yeah and the reason that we did that instead of like doing it ourselves like a lot of people do um is because we felt like well, when we did start doing the build, we he had a full-time job, I was nannying part-time, and then also teaching yoga part-time. So it just didn't really fit in our schedule, and like we had a certain expectation of deadline that we wanted to leave, and so the van needed to be done by a certain time. 
Um, and so we felt like it would be faster and cheaper and more well done if someone else did it for us. Um, but then the deadline didn't end up happening, obviously. Yeah. We thought we were going to leave in June of 2018, and it is now almost November, and we haven't left. But, you know, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely taught us patience. Um, and the other reason that we didn't want to do it ourselves is because of our electrical system. Right. We have a really unique electrical system. Instead of a, the traditional 12-volt system, we have a 24-volt uh, system. And because of that, we had to fi uh, find someone that was able to do it because it's not something that we felt like we could do our ourselves. Yeah, not a lot of electricians even know about the system or how to to work with it so we had to find it took us a while to find someone that was even willing to install it for us and that has set us back on our um, date that we're leaving um, a lot because it took him like a month to work on stuff for a while um, and a lot of the times is waiting for the parts too yeah. to yeah to get to the to our electrician so you can install them so during our travels we want to be able to make a difference and give back so one of the things that we have planned right now is to go around cleaning beaches and uh, parks and getting the scraps of uh, plastics and repurposing them to make different items that people might need we're looking now at roughly a month uh, before we hit the road hopefully and we're excited, but also nervous because we know there's going to be a lot of changes heading our way. But I think we're ready for it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any ideas about other ways that we can give back, feel free to comment below and like this video and subscribe to our channel to see our future videos. And we'll see you next time.